guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dimples thank you for tuning in today and as you can see we're about to get into you guys um if you're new here hi i'm dimples if you're a returning subscriber hey what's up how you guys are doing um so <clears throat> today as you can see i will be showing you guys how to apply makeup step by step and um yeah we're just gonna take it from there you guys i am no makeup artist i am no makeup guru i am no slay slayer none of that i just do what works for me so you can do what works for you i'm just gonna show you how to apply um makeup using different applications different techniques different brushes different routines to give you an idea to see what really works for you um to each his own this is a judge-free zone, you guys. So, yeah, we're just going to hop right into it. But before we hop into it, you guys, make sure you guys are following me on all my social media platforms. They are on in the description box below. I be saying that so fast, y'all. It be coming out so wrong. So, yeah, follow me on all my social media platforms. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And make sure your post notification bell is on. So you can be notified every single time that I upload, you guys. Okay, so let's get right into it. So, as you guys can see, I already got my little band on. You know, my hair was already pulled up in a bun or whatever, but it's just to push it back. You guys, um, <clears throat> I will be working with my Real Technique brushes today. Um, these are the only brushes I use. I was into the Morphe brushes as well, especially the foundation brush. I forgot the number of it, but it works pretty well. So, you guys, to begin with, to start off with y'all, um... I'm going to prime my face, but I'm going to show you guys. I showed you guys a million times before in my makeup tutorials. Um, if you haven't seen them already, watch my previous videos. I use my Noxzema wipes to wipe my face so I won't get any blemishes or acne when I put all this makeup on and stuff like that. So I use this every single day when I um, use makeup, when I don't use makeup, when I just wash my face for no reason, stuff like that. This comes in clutch. This comes in handy. This is the best. So I already applied that already. So what I'm gonna do is primers, you guys. Primers are, um, I feel like you should choose your primer um, for your skin type. You know, cause there's normal skin, um, combination skin, dry skin, oily skin, you know, it's different type of skin type. So um, depending on your skin type, you guys, that's how you should go about picking your primer because it is very important it helps your makeup stick and help erase pores like today i'm using this a baby skin instant pore eraser in my t-zone area to erase these little pores that i got right here i use it on my nose as well so i'm gonna go in with that i use two different type of primers and i also use this elf power grip um i want to get into the milk hydration primer because a lot of people say that it is almost like the same thing um same consistency it does the same thing and stuff like that but it's just a little bit better so i'm gonna try the milk one out but this is what i use it, it works very good i got two of these and this one the first one is almost gone as you guys can see so i'm gonna show you guys what i do with that i'm going to place this pore eraser in my t-zone area erase all it is you can use um a brush but you know everything's better when it's done with your hands you know you can apply i know a lot of people that apply makeup with their fingers like all of their makeup so trust it is okay you guys it is very much okay to use your fingers so um all right that's it for the baby skin maybelline pour eraser you guys now I'm going in with that elf, you guys, and I'm just going to place that on the outside perimeter of where I placed the pore eraser, you guys. And like I said before, this works phenomenally, you guys. And I'm going to go in with my 210 Real Techniques foundation brush, you guys. And the makeup 
that I'm using, the foundation that I'm using today is my 360 Deep Golden Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation, you guys. So, what I do is go right in with my Real Techniques brush. And what you want to do, you want to like, I want to say like pat, not drag it. Like you don't want to drag this product all over your face. That's not how you apply it. So to apply it, um, just make sure you're like patting it in, like building, like blending it in, patting it in, like using like this, you know? This gives it a, it makes it go on a lot easier as you can see how it instantly blends into the skin seamless, seamlessly. Y'all cannot say these words. Seamlessly like that, you guys. You don't want no swipe or no swiping. That's not how you apply foundation, you guys. That's not how you do it. You have to pat it and blend it and make sure you get the coverage that of your desire, you guys. That's the main thing because to me, this is not a um, full coverage um, foundation, but it's buildable, you guys. It's buildable. You can build it up to your desired liking. And I use this for my thing. I don't put my makeup on my hands and stuff like that. Some people put their makeup on the back of their hands and just dab it and stuff like that. Nah, I use this. These are what these things are for. And this came from Sheen. I think this was what, 71 cents on Sheen. So that's it for the foundation, you guys. Not too much going on. I'm not gonna apply a lot of foundation. I still want this to be like a easy, you know, simple, new, natural beat because this is just me showing you guys how to apply the makeup. So, yeah. I'm gonna put some in my eyes. I barely will be using any um, eyeshadow today, you guys. So my foundation is on exactly how I like it. You know, seamlessly, not too much going on. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going in next with um, some some concealer. I have this NARS um, Medium Dark Amande. It is very good. Um, I love this NARS concealer, you guys. And with the concealer, you want to put it in the places that you want that you want brighten up on your face. So I'm gonna place this concealer under my eyes because you know who doesn't love a bright under eye you guys so what I'm gonna do is once I apply this under my eyes you guys I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then blend it out and with concealer you guys it doesn't matter which one it doesn't matter which concealer you use um the concealer is only used for anyways to brighten the areas or conceal areas or color correct and stuff like that um with your makeup but i'm using the concealer today to brighten the areas that i want um highlighted so i place it under my eyes my nose my chin and of course, I place some under my nose like this. Okay. Alrighty, you guys, so that's it for the concealer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let the concealer sit because once you let it sit, um, the brighter, especially under your eyes, the brighter it gets. So I want the full effect of the concealer because if I just go in and just blend it out right now, it's just gonna seep into the found. Well, I really didn't put foundations under my eyes, but it's just gonna seep into the skin. It's gonna lose its color, its brightness and stuff like that. So I'm gonna let the concealer sit for a little bit and just move on to the next step. And for contour, you guys, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Caviar Match Stick for contouring. And depending on what look you're going for, you guys, um. You can put it where you can contour your cheeks, but you can do it from the regular angle 
just to give your face some definition but if you want a lifted look you would contour from up so me i always go for a lifted look so i'm going to show you guys i place my contour very high like almost on my cheek very high up you guys like this so it's practically as you can see my cheeks are right here it's practically on my cheeks this is where i place my contour because i really like that lifted look that it gives me and then of course if you have you know two chins we're not you know there's no judgment free so if you want to get rid of any area of extraness that's up under the face you guys you go under with the matchstick and just cancel it out to get it like that that's exactly what i do all the time this is how i apply my makeup and then I put it on the bridge of my nose because I do contour my nose. I know a lot of people that don't contour their nose, but the matchsticks come in handy because as you can see, you can precisely put it where exactly you want it instead of using a um, contour palette, you know? So this is the areas that I want contoured. So this is how the face looking and when I go in, I blend out my contour first before I touch my concealer. So to blend out my contour, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques 200 brush. As you can see how it is like, um, like an oval tapered shape, you guys. It has like a real like fan, it's not fanned out, but it's like, you know, it's for contouring and it blends out really good. So like I said, swipe or no swiping, you guys. Just, you wanna go in and dab it like blend blend like a tapping motion you guys and you want to stretch your face out like this and just get it blended out seamlessly you guys as you can see so that's the contour as you can see and just get it blended out like that So you guys, all the contour, all the contour is for to give your face definition. It's Cause once you set your um, places that you set the concealer, it's gonna be kind of like bright. So you wanna bring back some color, some warmth and give your face some type of definition so it won't fall flat, you guys. So you, this is, you go under and get this blended out really good like i said swipe or no swiping you guys just go in a tapping motion until you get your desired look you guys you don't want to go swiping because you it's liquid so and it's cream and it's liquid and you don't want to just move the product too much to where you actually move it off your face so it's better to once you get the hang of doing makeup you guys like it's gonna be completely a no-brainer for you guys. So it immediately, you guys, immediately after I do my cheeks and under my chin, I go in and I set it right away, you guys. And I go in with either the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Bronzer in the color 550 Deep Dark, you guys. I go in with this if I want like a natural, basic, um, soft, plain beat. But if I want to actually glam it up and make it really, you know, define and stuff like that, I'll go in with my Black Radiance um, True Complexion Contour Palette. And I it's in deep dark and I use my contour shade to really um, define it and give it some definition, you guys. So today, like I said, this is going to be like a natural soft beat, everyday beat. And I'm just, you know, showing you guys how to apply it. So what I do is I go in, tap, 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 and I just set everywhere that i put that cream contour everywhere i put the cream contour stick i just set it in place and with makeup like i said before in my previous videos you guys it's all about blending it's not what you do it's how you do it it don't matter what steps that you're doing it in you guys it does not matter what step that you're doing it in long as you get it done and you blend that's all that matters you guys that's all it is to make up long as you get it on there and you it's blendable you're you're gonna be you're gonna be a hundred percent good so i'm just gonna set everywhere you guys that i put the cream contour stick i'm gonna set 
with some bronzer. All right, and we're going with my nose. So what I'm using right now, it is, I use my brushes for different things, you guys. So to contour my nose, I don't use no fluffy buff brush, none of that stuff. I go in with this lip smudger, my Real Techniques lip smudger. Um, you guys can see how it is like round and like, very small and stuff like that. I use this to do my contour, you guys. I don't actually use a brush. As you can see, it moves. It moves the product where I want it to be. Um, no problem. No problem at all. So I do just that. And I bring my contour up into my eyebrow area, into my actual eyelid, you guys. Um, and that where it just, when you do that, you guys, it actually, you know, structure out your nose and gives this definition in, um, for your nose contour. What I actually do is outline my nose. So I actually go in my crevices and outline my, and outline the shape of my nose, you guys. So... That's exactly how I contour my nose, y'all. I really just outline it. And like I said, I'm going in back in with the bronzer and just setting this cream contour in place, you guys. Because once I'm done using my brushes, um, I go in with my beauty blender and once I set my face and just blend everything out seamlessly, you know? Everything that the brushes didn't do, anything that the brushes couldn't like get and stuff like that. If, if you have any harsh lines and things of that nature, the beauty blender will get you together. You wanna use a good beauty blender, a beauty blender that actually works. So now I'm gonna move on next to blending out my concealer, you guys. And I'm gonna go in with this Expert Concealer Brush. Um, it's in the number 210. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. So I'm just going to blend out my concealer this way, okay? And as you can see, the brush, it gives it a seamless blend, you guys. You know, if I would've went in straight with the, um, my beauty blender, like, it, you won't, it would took some of the product off. Go down my nose with this Concealer Expert brush and just blend out the concealer that I place on my nose, you guys and make sure it's blending out to my liking, like this. So I'm gonna blend out my concealer under my nose. And what I do, and you don't see me swipe or no swiping, you guys, I'm literally patting, literally patting this product in and blending it out. So I'm gonna start blending out the concealer under my eye on the outer edges and just a blending that out like that. Get that blended. Get this blended out just like this. And I start on the outer sides because I really, as you can see, I really wanted to like really set under my eyes. Like I really wanted to, you know, get that brightness, you know, a little more tacky before I go in and blend it out. So, and as you can see that I set my contour already with the powder and by me blending out the outer parts of my concealer, it's actually, if you guys can see, blending in seamlessly with it. Like there's no harsh lines. There's no, you know, indication of where my contour actually begins or ends. So I like to, that's why I like to use um, a brush to blend everything out first. And once everything is done, my whole entire face is done and I set it with my setting spray, I go in and just get that extra security with my beauty blender, you guys. Cause that's what it's all about. So now that I blended out those areas, I'm still gonna let my inner eye, cause I don't have any concealer that's brighter than the one that I have. So I'm really gonna just let that sit just for a few more minutes. But in the meantime, I will go into setting my, setting the places that, um, that I blended out. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder 
And what I do is I go in with it. I tap it on my hand to get the excess off because I don't want to do too much. And I actually blend in the places where I blended out my concealer, you guys. I actually go in and do that. And I push it in. Like, I don't bake. I, do, I don't do any baking, you guys. I literally just push it into the skin and just make sure a good amount is on and that it is set. I'm going to go in on forehead and just set. And like I said, you guys, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to put this powder and really just literally push it into the skin you guys literally just push it into my skin everywhere that i applied the concealer so i'm gonna push it into the skin and this is how you know you get your makeup to last and depending on your skin type if you got really oily skin you would want to actually set your makeup and then go in to bake and if you want like a bright 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 under eye you can actually set your under eye and then go in to bake with the translucent powder of your choice you know but me i don't bake even though i want a bright under eye what i do is i just depend totally on the concealer for that and then once I blend that out, I set it in place and bam, wham, bam, thank you man. So as you can see, I don't have that white dust going down my nose because I actually go in and in. I, get, I know you guys can tell the difference of using the beauty blender because as you can see, everything is being blended out seamlessly. So I'm gonna go in under my nose and just set under my nose with the powder and push the powder in into all the places that I concealed. Just like that. Just like that, y'all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bake under my, I mean bake. I'm gonna do my under eye, you guys. I'm gonna blend out the concealer under my eye. I'm gonna go in with my brush first. I'm go in right with my brush and just blend it out. If you guys see me looking over here, of course, I'm in front of my vanity, I'm looking in the mirror, y'all. So, yes. As you can see, it's brightened up a little bit, you guys, as you can see. And to keep this bright under eye look, what I'm gonna do is make sure I blend it out to my liking with this brush already and um set it it immediately set it and under my eye creases really bad a lot you guys so i have to set under my eye like immediately y'all like i literally have to it have to be like a it literally has to be like a one two three thing so i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender to get like under my creases i'm gonna scratch my face a little bit like this and make sure the concealer under my creases and my creasing area is blended out because if it's not you guys when i apply when i set go to set it it's going to look cakey it's going to look crazy so you want to make sure you have a seamless blend and like i said just go in tap on the hand and immediately set set it in place you guys immediately set it in place under my eye like that And um, I put foundation on my eyelid, you guys. So I'm gonna also just set my eyelid as well with the translucent um, Laura Mercier setting powder. But I just push this product into my skin. And like I said, I use a little bit, a little goes a long way. This stuff is expensive, y'all. So if you're running on a budget and you're doing everything on a budget, you guys, I advise you to use a little bit because a little goes a long way um, anyways. And if you don't know what you're doing, I advise you, recommend that you guys use a little bit until you get to a place where like you know what you're doing and how exactly you want your makeup to look and stuff like that. But if not, honey, don't even don't even push okay 
so this I sit and as you can tell how the difference is with my face being set on one side and the other side being still not set yet all right so now both of my eyes as you guys can see are set already my whole entire face is set already so what I'm gonna do when I want my when I want my contour to pop you guys I go in with my beauty blender with the rounded part of the beauty blender as you can see i dab it to get the excess powder off and i go in and carve out my contour just like that just like that y'all ain't nothing to it but to do it that's why you want to use a beauty blender to carve it out because it gives a precise line so this is what i do i go in and carve it out. All right, carve out my contour as you can see. So what I do is I take the excess powder that I have on my wrist, the excess powder that I have on my sponge and just set my neck area, <clears throat> my neck area under my neck. All righty, you guys. So as you guys can see, I set the places that I want it to be set. So I'm going to go back in with my little contour stick and whatever excess that I have on here, I just do it like that. Make sure it pops. Make sure it's popping. Okay. Just to bring it out a little bit more. And I do the same for my nose contour because this is a very bronzer soft. Um, this is a very soft bronzer look, you guys. So I just go whatever excess that's on these brushes. That's another reason why I like to use brushes because it's a lot of excess stuff that be on the brushes that um, I can just go back and use it. Just like that, y'all. So I'm going to go in with this. This setting brush and the number 402, my Real Techniques brush, and just dust away this excess powder under my bronzer. I don't let it sit for too long, you guys, because it's not a full, if it, was a, if it was a full glam look, then I would have let it set like a little bit longer. But this is just to give you guys an idea. So I go in, and this is a setting brush. And this is what I use to dust away that excess powder and things of that nature. So you guys, before I move on to the fun part, to the blush and all that extraness, I'm going to go in and as you can see, my eyebrows are all down and stuff like that by this being a natural look, soft look. I'm going to brush them back out. I go in with a face powder. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Power in the color what color is this rich and the color rich m10 so i use my beauty blender to get a seamless look because you can see where i look like casper the goes under here because using the translucent powder in my skin tone it really don't mix it give you like a gray like a gray you know casper the friend ghost type look you know you know what i'm saying y'all so to bring the color back into my face, to bring my color back, and to make everything look like it's just, you know, I just woke up like this, I go in with a pressed face powder, you guys, and I use my beauty blender to do so, especially under my contour line where you can see it left that line of demarcation there. So I go in, tap, 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 and blend out everywhere that I put my, um, that translucent setting powder and also this is just to set my foundation that i didn't even touch anyways so this is what i do go in and just go over all of the places that i used i go over my entire face with this you guys i go in my entire face with this powder you know go in So for it to not look gray and stuff like that, whatever you do to your face, you do to your neck, okay? So, and this is a mattifying powder. 
so this is what's gonna last all day and this mattifying powder is good for those that have a little oily skin stuff like that i have combination skin but i just love using this powder like and i just blend everything out as you guys can see everything is blended out everything is looking you know so i'm gonna go in with some blush and i know you guys a lot of people do the cream and wet products first and then go in and set it with their patterns and stuff like that but me i'm the complete opposite like i said do what works for you but as you guys can see i'm going to go in with my she glam swipe right um with my she glam liquid blush and the color blossom okay this is how it looks it's very cute so what i do is i go in with my blush brush this 400 um this 400 blush brush very big i go around it to pick up some product you know i don't really put it on my face because if i put it on my face by me already setting my face and putting the powders and stuff all on my face and once i put this on it's all it's going to do you guys is make stamp mark is gonna make a mess and it's gonna be hard for me to move and stuff like that so what i do is how to apply my brush my blush what i do is i use a brush to do so and i'm going to apply it like this just like that seamlessly y'all apply it on top of my contour you have to have a light hand to do so y'all put a little bit on my nose and like that you guys as you guys can see this is how i and bring it up because i'm a very i'm a blush girl y'all i love blush so as you can see and then i smile get the apples of my cheeks i tap 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 and as you guys can see this is how i apply my blush over my set skin even though that i even though I didn't lock it in with any spray, um, with any spray, it's just I set everything on my face and used all my powders first and then went back in with the liquid. But you guys can see how it actually stands out on my face. It really does stand out and you can see it. It's very, and I'm a very blush girl. And yes, I'm gonna go in and set this, you guys. Put a little on my nose, okay. So what I'm going to use to set this blush with is my Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. This is what I use because I use that for that exact color. This is what I use. It is very pretty, you guys. It's very pigmented. So like I keep telling you guys, a little goes a long way. So I'm going to set it, set my blush. Use the same brush. Tap, tap and just set this liquid tap tap and just set some on my nose i'm gonna go in with some highlighter i've got this matte gold deposit which is a very good and i don't use the real techniques highlighter brush what i do use to apply my highlighter i use the medium shadow brush in the number 308 it got like this tapered into it you guys so i go in i tap apply tap apply you gotta have a light hand you guys you know this is the fun part for me i place this down the bridge of my nose area and i just place this highlighter in all the places that i want highlighted i put it on the chin put some on the forehead and it's like um it's just like that um concealer brush i just blend it in so it can be like seamless so i like my nose to pop y'all so i just go i od a little bit on my nose and then what i do is this i just tap with a very light hand over my blush i make sure that my cheek is up when i do this so you so i can actually see the shine and how it's gonna look once i um how i wanted to look there's no line of demarcation or anything of that nature no i don't swipe it i actually as you can see this is how it looks when you tap it in you guys phenomenal i'm telling you guys and there's no rush to this keep my lips up and just literally just tap using tapping 
no swiping. Everything is gonna get blended out seamlessly with the Beauty Blender anyway. So I just wanna make sure I push all of these products into my skin already. And there we go. A real cute glowy look. You know, not too much going on. And as you can see, y'all, a real simple, natural, soft beat. Not too much going on. I haven't even touched my eyes yet and everything looks... All right, y'all. So I am currently out of this. So what I'm going to do is use this Milani Make It Last setting spray. If I can get it open. Got it. So I'm going to use this to set my face. It smells, whew. you guys, this smells so good, so good. I am out of my dewy, so I'm going to have to throw that out right as soon as I get this video. And as you guys can say, I'm, see, I'm not going to let it dry down. What I'm going to do is press it in with my beauty blender, y'all. everything comes together you know i want to make sure everything comes together seamlessly you guys and that's what it's giving it's giving i woke up like this as you can see y'all that's what it's giving i literally woke up like this so what i'm gonna do is so now i'm gonna go in with this ruby kisses 24 hour waterproof eyeliner this is an eyeliner y'all but i always use this as a lip liner because that MAC chestnut with my skin tone, it doesn't, you don't you get the picture. So I always go for a black liner. You can get a lip liner from anywhere, your drugstore, anything, whatever. Beauty supply store, all of that. So as you can see, I go in and I line my lips like this. Okay, I line my lips. Just like that. I'm gonna go on with this Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate Lip Gloss. Okay, and apply it like that. Just like that, y'all. And I'm gonna go in with this fine liner brush in the number. Oh my gosh, I can't see this. In the number 311, this is a fine liner lip brush. And I just go over my lip liner with this, y'all. I'm going, I'm going in and just going over my lip liner with this lip brush just like this. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And just like that, that's how I get this beautiful lip. Go in with this mascara. This came from Family Dollar, so I can't even tell you the name. I can't even tell you none of that because it don't have a name on it or nothing. This came from Family Dollar. This was a dollar. If you have long, voluminous, luscious eyelashes, you guys, all you have to do is just apply mascara and you're good to go. But, you know, to each its own, everyone does not have and are not blessed with eyelashes. Cause I'm working on arm and leg over here, y'all. So you can tell the difference of how, of the using the mascara. This is no mascara. This is with mascara. It's just to you know spice it up. If you're putting on lashes, this is to you know get all the product or whatever that was placed on the eyelashes while you were doing your face, just to get it out of there and blacken it and you know get it out the way. It actually, I like this mascara because it actually works. Alrighty, you guys, so this is the look. This is the finished look, you guys. I'm gonna go back in with my brush just to brush up my eyebrows and get them out the way, you guys. I didn't place, like I said, I never do anything to my eyebrows anyways. Um, I'm still working on that, you guys. But this is just a natural look. This is just to show you guys how to apply makeup. And this is the finished look, you guys. This is how it's looking. 
this is it so this is how to apply makeup step by step and if you were to add lashes where are my lashes if you were to apply lashes you guys i use the duo glue you guys can use the duo glue i see people use the bonding hair glue and stuff like that just apply your lashes let it sit for 30 seconds and apply i'm not going to show you guys how to do that because i still be struggling with lashes myself so i'm not even going to you know i'm not even going to go there with y'all today i'm not even doing that with y'all today all right so if you made it this far so you guys if you made it this far and you like this video if you like this vibe subscribe to my channel thank you guys for tuning in thank you for watching and i hope you guys learned a lot from me showing you step by step how to apply makeup um and yeah i hope you like this look you guys very simple very neutral very soft there's not too much going on y'all as you can see everything is blended out everything looks seamless everything just comes together as one um the only thing that will top this look off are some lashes you guys um and yeah that is it for my video make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms they are in the description box below and i will see you guys tomorrow in my next one bye